We all hate algorithms. We hate learning them, we hate learning them, and we especially hate learning them. But in the end of the day, if you want to improve, then they are an essential part of becoming a good cuber. And if you want to take the extra step and become really sweaty, then you can learn another 3000 plus algorithms to help you get a tiny bit better at cubing. So without further ado, let's begin. For the most part, F12 should be a really intuitive process. Most of these items are based on how you want to solve the first two layers. But of course, if you feel the need to learn 70 more algorithms just to be able to do this, then feel free to do so by watching JPEM's video on that. Although it's probably one of the most fundamental things you want to learn if you want to start averaging sub-15. Although it stands for orienting the last layer. Let's say I solved the white cross. Now I've inserted another four pairs. And now I'm up to the last layer. So basically now, Aula wants to aim to get all of these yellow pieces on top of the cube through one algorithm, like... And in total, there are 57 of these type of algorithms. PLL now is the final step of the CFOP method, where once you finish the OLL stage as we just did, you recognize the outer layers of the yellow top layer, and you execute one of 21 algorithms to help solve the entire cube. Some of them are really easy like this one and other ones are really annoying and a pain to learn like this one. What I suggest is that you watch Ting Man's two videos on OLL and PLL because I reckon he has the best order in how to learn these and I'll link them both in the description. Now moving on to the really sweaty annoying subsets right now. So, winter variation is when there is only one pair to solve, while the top cross is also solved, progressing onto OLL through one algorithm while also solving this last pair. For example, for this case, we have the pair over here and we have three crosses oriented, well, three cross pieces oriented, and we would do an algorithm like this to solve that part, and we finish OLL in that process, and now we're straight onto PLL. In total, there are 27 algorithms. I would personally recommend this as the first subset you learn after OLL and PLL, as they are pretty easy to memorize and easy to recognize. VLS or Volkla slot was created by Max Volk quite a long time ago. You could say winter variation is kind of a subset of VLS, or that VLS is just a more tedious and advanced version. But in total, there are a whopping 432 algorithms and 216 of them are mirrors. VLS basically doesn't care what's on the top, unlike winter variation where there must be a cross, but you still need this pair to be solved, otherwise the algorithm doesn't work. So for example, in this one, we can do an algorithm like this. And like that, we've solved the OLL case, and most of the time, these pieces won't be solved. Hessler Last Slot was created by prominent speedcuber Ro Hessler, which is basically a counterpart to VLS, where the F12 pair is enjoined, but it only requires an RUR prime to be solved into an OLL skip. This set also has 432 ALGs, of which 216 are mirror cases. Summer Variation is a subset of HLS, which is the opposite of Winter Variation. What I mean by that is that the F12 pair is separated, but all the cross edges are still on the top layer. There are 54 of these algorithms, of which 27 are mirrors. For example, to solve this case, we would go like this. Like that, and now we've solved the OLL case. And personally, I would not suggest learning this or HLS unless you're like really bored. CLS or corner last slot algorithms to solve the last F12 corner and orient the top layer at the same time. They are used when the edge of your final F2 L pair is already solved and the last layer edges are oriented. There are crazy 104 algorithms and of course please don't learn it because it's honestly not even worth it. But as an example for one case. Like that we've just solved the OLL. The last of these OLS algorithms are orienting the last slot is called BLE or Brooks Last Edge named after the famous cuber Anthony Brooks. It is pretty unlikely that you'll get one of these cases, but when there is one last F2 L slot and you have this case and it's a good case, then you'd probably want to solve it because some of them are kind of good. And there are only 27 of these, so it's somewhat kind of worth it, but it has like medium priority. But for this case, you can solve it like this.
and like that you've solved all of them. Typically when you get to PLL you probably don't want a bad case, actually that's for everything, but like you probably want a case which has all the corners permutated correctly with only the edges to be solved. That's what COLL or corner orientation last layer aims to do. It's actually not that hard to recognize as the cross must be solved and you only recognize them from the corners and they have patterns like this where the two are opposite like this. This and winter variation are the two subsets which I and many other cubers would actually recommend. This subset only has 42 algs and one of them is this. Like that, see, we got a U perm where all the corners are solved, like this, and it's only the edges, and this can be solved in a really easy algorithm to finish a cube. OLLCP is an advanced extension of COLL, where COLL needs the cross to be solved, OLLCP does not. But what it does need is a lot of patience, as you need to memorize a whole bunch of algs, around 331. One of them, for example, is this. And this results in a H perm, which can be solved pretty easily, like this. So when you get to a top world class level, these are the type of algs which you'll want to learn so that you can speed up recognition like that. Back in the ancient times, this guy whose name I can't pronounce and Ron Van Bruchem created an algorithm subset which only the sweatiest of cubers would bother to learn. ZBLS solves the last slot while also orienting all the edges on the top layer. ZBL is a follow up to this where once you have got the cross solved, you solve the rest of the cube in one algorithm out of 795. Very few people have learned how to do this efficiently and one of the best of them was the creator of BLE, Anthony Brooks. Honestly, that's a lot of respect, but the top speed cubers only memorized a few of these algs and only used them in good cases. But if you choose to do ZBLS with ZBLL, then that's now called the ZB method. And for this you would solve it like this. and that solves the entire cube from any cross step. Sometimes you can even solve the entire layer in one look, or multiple, because it takes really good recognition to do this. As far as I know, only a handful of really sweaty people decided to do this, and they bothered to learn 3,915 algorithms. But of course, some special cases where recognition is easy, it's not that hard to solve it in just one look, because even I can do this. Anyways, with all of that said, if you happen to enjoy that video, maybe check out 22 YouTubers described in exactly 5 words. And down here, you can watch the evolution of Timon Kolosinski. If you really like that video though, please remember to give it a like and subscribe, comment down below, share this video, have a wonderful day, and peace out.